Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this compound shape that consists of a bunch of triangles such that this angle A is 15 degrees, this angle B is 30 degrees, and moreover, this line segment AD equals to this line segment db and now we are going to find the value of this angle x please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so let's go ahead and get started with the solution and here's the very first thing we are going to do let's focus on this angle 30 degrees we should take advantage of this 30 degrees so therefore we are going to draw some auxiliary lines Let's go ahead and extend this line BC all the way to some point E somewhere here. And we're going to connect this A to E such that we're going to have this 90 degree angle. And here's our much nicer looking diagram and we can see that our this angle E is 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this big triangle AEB. We know that this angle B is 30 degrees. This angle E is 90 degrees. And we know that the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. So therefore, this angle has got to be 60 degrees. And we can see that this is a special 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And here's our 30, 60, 90 triangle. As you can see that this is 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to this, this angle is going to be our shortest leg. And this 90 degrees is our biggest angle. So the side opposite to this one is going to be our largest leg. In such kind of triangle, the largest leg is twice as the shortest leg. If the shortest leg is one unit, then this largest leg is going to be two. So therefore, in our this big triangle, this longest leg is going to be two units. And this our shortest leg is going to be one unit. And moreover, we know that this whole side length AB is 2 and it's been divided into two equal parts, this one and this one. So we can divide this 2 into 1 on this side and 1 on this side as well. And now we can see that this side length is 1 unit, this is 1 unit and this is one unit as well so therefore all these sides are going to be equal in length so therefore a e is equal to all these other sides and here's our next step let's focus on this triangle a e c we know that this whole angle is 60 degrees and this angle is 15 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be 60 minus 15 equals to 45 degrees. So therefore our angle EAC is 45 degrees and we know this angle E is 90 degrees and we know that the sum of the angles in any triangle is 180 degrees. So that means that this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. So therefore our angle EC is 45 degrees as well and now we can see that these two angles are 45 degrees each so that means this is an isosceles triangle that means this side is going to be equal to this side that means this side is also equal in length and here's our next step let's go ahead and connect these points D and E. Let's go ahead and connect this point E with this point D. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And now let's focus on this triangle AED and we know its two sides are equal in length. So therefore this angle has got to be equal to this angle. And if uh, this angle is already 60 degrees, then these angles are going to be 60 degrees each 
because the sum of the angles in this triangle must be 180 degrees. So therefore, this triangle has come out to be an equilateral triangle since all these three angles are 60 degrees. So that means this side is going to be this side is going to be equal to this side as well. And now in this next step, let's focus on this triangle EDC. We know that this whole angle is 90 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. So that means this angle has got to be 30 degrees. Therefore, our this angle CED is 30 degrees. Now we also know that this is an isosceles triangle. That means this side is equal to this side. So that means this angle is equal to this angle. We know that this angle is 30 degrees. So that means these two angles have got to be 75 degrees each because the sum of all these three angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore our this angle EDC turns out to be 75 degrees. And here's our final step. Let's recall this straight angle property. That means we are going to look at this whole angle and this whole angle is 180 degrees. And this whole angle consists of three individual angles, 60 degrees, 75 degrees, and X degrees. Let's go ahead and add them up. So I am going to write down 60 degrees plus 75 degrees plus angle X, and that should be equal to 100 and 80 degrees. Now let's go ahead and combine the like terms. 60 degrees plus 75 degrees is going to be 135 degrees plus x equal to 180 degrees. Let's subtract 135 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So our x angle turns out to be 180 degrees minus 135 degrees is going to give us 45 degrees and that is our angle X. So after all these multiple steps and construction, our this angle X turns out to be 45 degrees. So thus our final answer, our angle turns out to be 45 degrees. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.